this is the Wally Show, and that is Zach Williams, and uh, so, uh, a great song survivor. And Zach did something that I find extremely cool. When I heard about this, I'm like, we have to talk about this. Uh, he went and did a whole series of live recordings at a prison, at Harding Prison. Where did that idea come from for you? So about, I guess it's been about six years ago now, me and my wife were in, in church in Arkansas, and she took a trip with some women from church one Sunday afternoon to do some prison ministry. And I remember I'd stayed home with our kids and she, uh, she came home that night afterwards and she was like, you've got to go check this out. She was like, I, th- I really think it's something you'd be into. Um, but I was kind of in this like transition. Um, I'd been in a rock band for years and we had just, we were new Christians and we were, I was really just trying to focus on my relationship with my family and God. And I was kind of like, didn't know what I was supposed to be doing in my life. And I was just waiting to hear something. And she said, no, I really think you need to do it. And I remember saying, like, I don't think I want to do that. Like, that's not really my thing. And she signed me up to go. <laughs> that's so, so great. Yeah. Uh, wives, like, yeah. If your wife is anything like mine, she's responsible for all the best decisions exactly. in our life that I had nothing to yeah, do with. Exactly. So she signed me up to go. And uh, a few weeks later, we went, and I took my guitar, and I took some new songs that I had been writing, and we shared kind of our testimony uh, and we just saw God move that day in a way that we had never experienced, never been a part of. And for me, it was kind of this aha moment of like, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is the music you're supposed to be writing, the people you're supposed to be reaching. And I went home from that, and for weeks, I couldn't even talk about the experience. I couldn't even talk about it to anybody. And uh, over, the, over the last few years, just with the opportunities God's given me, um, when I started working on this record, I remember my producer um, he was always like, man, wouldn't it be cool one day to get to go in and record some of this stuff live in a prison with a like, captive yeah. audience? And I was like, literally, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I would love to do that, you know, and uh, it's just, we, you know, we can't make things like that happen. And, and God just kind of put it together a, a year ago. I was approached by an organization called Men of Valor here in Nashville. And oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we kind of partnered with them and we started um, working on this idea to do it. And they they were able to help us get in and, and make it happen. That's so cool, man. Uh, this is uh, Zach Williams on with us and uh, talking about doing like songs in a prison. And I <clears throat> firsthand know how difficult it is. Like My brother's in prison in Florida, yeah. and just sending him a package is the most difficult thing sometimes because it's got the little metal thing that flops open and holds it yeah. uh, sealed. You can't do that. So like, oh, yeah. how did you get gear into the prison? Uh, they had to have a detailed list of every little thing, I mean, down to like guitar picks. Yeah. Yeah, and we the were, numbers of yeah. them. You felt like a surgeon. It was, it was crazy, and they had to have all that um, for us to be able to get in. But um, I don't know. I, like I said, I think God had a lot to do with that, you know, um, making that happen and setting it all up and working it out. And the people at the prison there, uh, at Harding Prison, were amazing to work with. And, like, they were just – it was it was a really special day. So what were your thoughts – about prison and prisoners before this, and then you have this experience. How did it change after that? Um, you know, I, I'd never really had um, I never really had like a a bad kind of a outlook opinion on, or something. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have anything like that. Um, I've always thought. I'm very fortunate that God was looking out for me and I never ended up in prison. It's oh, that the, takes away my next question. Yeah, it's, well, it's kind of, it's, it, that's kind of the thing. It's like I can, I feel like I can relate to a lot of these men and a lot of these women because I've messed up a lot. Right. Um, and I just didn't end up there, you know. I easily could have. There's a lot of things I did that could have ended, ended me up in jail or prison or whatever. But like I said, God was just watching out for me. And uh, But, man, going in and seeing these guys, you know, it's it's hard, you know, until you've been there. And like I said, you know you know about it, but you it, you can't explain to somebody what it's like to go into a room full of people that have lost hope. But when you go in and you play these songs and you just share some love with them and you watch their curtain or their wall drop yep. between you and them, um, and they they choose to find that hope right then and there, and they find freedom, you know, behind bars that day. And it's 
It's crazy. I mean, it's really cool. And only God can do that. Yeah, because prison is a real tough place. Yeah. Like, and like, I know my brother is, you know, in there and the stories that he tells me yeah. and stuff, there's, it's hard, you yeah. know? And so to like, for a minute, be free inside of that yeah. and that freedom that comes in Christ is a blessing, you know, for these guys. And so like in watching the videos and you see these guys worshiping, yeah. it's it's absolutely beautiful. If you want to see the videos, please, ZachWilliamsMusic.com. You have to check it out. There's a bunch, I think you guys record like eight songs or something six songs uh and then there's some testimonies of guys that you know you had met it just it's really really powerful and i actually want to share with you something uh that my brother wrote uh, to you when i i'm getting choked up oh well uh when i uh told him about all this so uh we'll do that in 15 right here on the wally show All right. Uh, next, here we go. Yeah, that's gonna be tough for you to read. That, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't do stuff like that. Yeah, I hate this stuff. Well, my, I'll just chuck my phone to you. Talking about, yes, no. talk about my dad, and my kids, and I'm like a crybaby. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, tears are good, Wally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good. I'm gonna fight that. Good here. radio. Yeah. Here we go. Nope. Uh, but I have something really funny planned after this. <laughs> <laughs> can't stand that serious. <laughs> This is The Wally Show, and uh, this is an interview that I have been really looking forward to having for a while. We actually talked about this, you know, months ago uh, with Zach Williams, who is with us today. And thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you making the time. You had a project that when I found out about it, you went into Harding Prison and you recorded a bunch of your songs. And it turns into like this worship things for these guys in prison. And, you know, with my brother being in prison and and like it just resonated with me. I'm like, we have to talk about this. And the fact that you chose to see people that the rest of the world for all intents and purposes writes off yeah. and that was not what you chose to do I love that heart for you and so like was there anybody that you met while you were there that you're like man this person's inspired me well there's one story in particular um, when you watch the videos there's a there's an older guy that's on the front row um, kind of got some gray hair and handlebar mustache and I remember watching him throughout the day. There, you know, there's always a few people that you connect with, and you just see and you think there's something going on with them. And I remember we finished, and uh, we were just kind of mingling with some of the guys and shaking hands and hugging some of these guys and just letting them tell their story. And this guy walks up to me and he, he says, "Man, you know, my name's Lynn." He's like, uh, "I just I want to tell you," he said, "I'm I'm innocent. I don't belong here." And, and that's what everybody and says. And that's what everybody says. Yeah. So immediately, that's that was the first place I went with it, I thought. But then there was something different, and I was like, well, hey. I said, bro, if, if you're innocent, then why don't we just pray right now that they'll find evidence and you'll get out of here. That's, I mean, it was a simple prayer. That, that, but that, that's still kind of a crazy thing yeah. because in the back of your head, you're thinking, all right, Lord, yeah. is this a legit thing? That's impressive, But though. that was it, and that was really all we said. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hugged him, walked off. I was getting ready to leave. A little over a month ago to go on tour and uh my wife a lot of times will find these messages that people send us through facebook and things like that and she said you've got to check this out and so the guy had sent me a message through facebook and he said basically that the state of tennessee had found evidence to prove that he wasn't guilty and he was exonerated and all of his charges had been dropped that's crazy and then he got released and uh <gasps> yeah i mean things like that but then he and then he ended it with by the way, there's 45 other guys here that want you to come back and pray for them too. So. Yes, yeah. But I was like, I mean, it was just, it was really cool. So it was like for me, if yeah, you'd have the most popular yeah. prison ministry ever. <laughs> yeah. But it, for me, it was like if that was the only thing that was supposed to happen with that day. Yeah. Then that was worth it, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's really cool. So yeah, that that's a, an unusual story for sure. <laughs> like uh, I was asking my brother, I want him to help me with the segment that we're going to do in a minute uh, with some uh, questions. Uh, but I had told him like, what you had done, and so like he, his life when he went to prison is a different person, man. He yeah. went to prison, he found God, and I know there's the same thing that yeah. jaded jailhouse conversion. Yep. It's That's changed <laughs> him. Yeah. Yeah. And for the better. And so like he is going to come out and he wants to do something that invests back in to these nice. guys' lives that are walking through this, you know. But he said, uh, hey, just wanted um, uh, to uh, tell you to please tell Zach thank you very much. He may never know um, of his uh, in this life of the impact he's had on those inmates. When someone takes the time out of their busy lives to show that they care for those that most of society has written off as useless, unlovable, the impact is incredible. And even after that, he will uh, he'll, he will have left 
even after he's left, people will talk about the message uh, that is uh, that he brought to them and uh, how the word of God and it will prosper. And so please thank him uh, once again for not forgetting oh, about us. That's awesome. Like, that's cool. Well, man. Tell him I said thank you for the for the note. That's awesome. I think this also shows because you're getting choked up reading that the impact that it has on the lives of these the families of these prisoners yeah. and that they can, you know, call home and say, hey, this guy came and sang yeah. songs that yeah. resonated with yeah. me today. And that's hope for them, too, yeah. knowing that that there's some hope and some truth getting into the prison that they're connecting on that level with yeah, you. And, too. I and I don't think these guys understand either, like just how blessed we are to get to go do it. I think. Yeah. And when I get to go do something like that, I get more out of it. I feel like than they do. You know, I, I, I'm sure they think the same way, but it just it it's it's crazy because, you know, I spent years of my life playing in bars and nightclubs and leaving every night and waking up every morning just empty. Couldn't wait to get back on that stage. And that was the only time I ever felt fulfilled was like right. in the moment. And you can do something like this, and it just like fills you up. I mean, your tank's full, and you can keep going. And it makes all the things that we do and all the time we travel and are away from our families, it's it's worth it to get to go do things like this. Yeah, and so that is cool how it works for both people. I yeah. think that's how God designed us, where it keeps you going and doing what you're doing, and then your words and that time and that investment in these yeah. guys is something they will remember for years. And some, it might be the only thing they have to hang on yeah. to for a while. Because, like, my brother was telling me about how, like, he's feels blessed that you know he has a family that loves him writes him helps him out you know any way we can and he's like there are guys that are going through this that have no one Nobody, yeah. and they're going to end up right back here you know and yeah. it's like until something intercedes and that's god and it yeah. changes them and it, and it does happen and you're a part of that man you're 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 a part of that story that's being written so that's cool, cool. thank you well that was awesome. Uh, if you want to see the videos, uh, <laughs> check out ZachWilliamsMusic.com. Again, I highly recommend uh, seeing these bu- videos. It, the music's great. It's shot great, but there's something powerful about it when you see God moving in the lives of these of these men that, that don't have a lot of hope. Uh, you know, I've talked about my brother. I did ask him to uh, help me with a game. Okay. And so we're going to play a game uh, with Zach Williams about prison here in uh, the next 15 minutes on The Wally Uh-oh. Show. This is the Wally Show. We have Zach Williams uh, in with us. Do we have to uh, call you uh, the Dove Award-winning uh, Zach Williams from now on? No. Another Dove uh, yeah. uh, under your wing there. Yeah. What'd you win for this year? Uh, Pop Contemporary Song of the Year and Artist of the Year. Oh, you won two! Yeah. Wow, that's fan. Those are both really good ones to win. Yeah, I was pretty pumped. I yeah, was pretty blown away, honestly. So, well, congratulations! And, and it shows too because you knew it top of head. Where the other guys are like, "Yeah, we won something tonight," and I can't remember. Oh, I was, <laughs> You're like artist was, of the year. I knew what it was, <laughs> I, but the funny thing was, is I can remember when they were when they were announcing the artist for artist of the year. I was like, I was messing with my phone. <laughs> my wife was sitting, she like, slaps my arm. She's like, you're up for this. And I'm like, I'm not winning this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was great. mercy me and all of that. I was like, yeah. there's no way. And I was shocked. Well, you so. proved them all wrong. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I had an experience at the Doves where uh, I can only imagine one. And I was in the last six seconds of that movie. Yeah. Like, And I speak. I saw I'm, you. You got oh, to you saw that? Yeah, you were, on, you were on stage too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> I told him, I said, if we if we win, if you guys win, I'm walking up there. Yeah. And they're like, I dare you. And so I'm like, okay. Yeah, and I, I saw you walk back. up. Yeah, you're hanging out. <laughs> so here's the deal. we got Zach Williams with us. Again, he has done an amazing thing. Uh, did some live songs at uh, Harding Prison in Tennessee. And if you want to see them, it's really cool to see these guys that, again, the world writes off as unredeemable. But that's the beautiful thing about God is that's not the story that they need to hear. And that's, that's not truth. And so Zach went in and did this. And there's some great... Great stories with some of the inmates as well. ZachWilliamsMusic.com. Make sure you check that out. Uh, like I've talked about, my brother is in prison, so I emailed him, uh, and he had some nice words for you, you know, yeah. just thanking you for doing what you're doing for prisoners all around. Uh, but I said, hey, can you help me? He wasn't in there long, but I want to see what he picked up uh, lingo-wise. Okay. Uh, some prison terms, Uh-oh. okay? So we'll see uh, what you learned uh, from your brief stint in prison, okay? okay? Here we go. <laughs> Is a croaker a doctor or an old guard? What do you think? I would say it's an old guard. Old guard, the croaker. No, actually it's a not- doctor. <laughs> A Broker. doctor. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, or they even uh, extend that to somebody who uh, can diagnose illnesses. So you don't even have to have a license, but gotcha. that's a croaker. Is a coffee bomb coffee sold in a finger of a glove or coffee made with tinfoil and a battery? I'm going to go with the glove. You're going with the glove? 
You're absolutely right. Emma? Yes, oh, you nice. are right. Nicely nice. done. Nice. Uh, yeah, I guess if you don't buy coffee, yeah. uh, like if you don't have it, you, they, guys will sell it to each other, and they sell it in the finger of like a uh, rubber glove. Wow. Yeah, so there you go. That's a coffee bomb. Uh, hamburger. Is that a prison slang for a properly made bunk or a 10-year prison sentence? What do you think? It's kind of good you're not getting a lot of these right, because I'm like, <laughs> I don't think he's done any time. No, I haven't, but I'm, I'm going to go with a hamburger being the, the bunk. The bunk. No, okay. no, it's a 10-year prison sentence, and if you say a hamburger with fries, you're doing 20. Oh, wow. Yeah, so wow. Uh, let me see. Is a brick a bar of soap uh, or anything cooked in a Cheetos bag? Cheetos bag. Absolutely is right, yes. yes. There's a whole cookbook yeah. about cooking in prison, and wow. one of the things that they will do is you make food in a Cheetos bag, because it's got that cheese flavor. Yeah. It has to be a Cheetos bag, and you microwave all this stuff in now, the Cheetos bag. I would... If you could get your hands on one of those cookbooks, I would love to see that. I yeah. love cooking, so anything, anything to do. Oh, with that's seven, right, you do. Yeah, that would be really cool. My so. brother, they talk about making a, a, a cake out of honey buns and all these different Are things, and they me? layer it up. And yeah, and they make it in their dorm. Basically, it's a no cook cake with all these things that they can buy. If, if people put money into their accounts, you can buy things through the commissary. Yeah. Uh, not wow. great stuff, but yeah, he's like, yeah, it's horrible, but it's good here. Yeah, I mean, you, I can imagine. Pretty we should creative. do that. We yeah. should have a Zach Williams prison cookbook. That would be fun. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> I will We'll ask him for some recipes, and we'll, we'll do something with that. Uh, we got Zach Williams on, and we're uh, doing a little prison slang uh, in honor of his time that he spent at Harding Prison, not as an inmate. Uh, I thought I'd clarify, uh, but <laughs> as uh, as a guy doing some ministry in there with these guys, uh, is a Viking an inmate who never cuts his hair or one who won't shower? No showers. Absolutely right. Nicely done. The Viking yeah. way. Uh, and then let me see. Oh, does roll your window up mean stop eavesdropping or take pictures down off the cell wall? I would say stop eavesdropping. Yes. Yeah. So that's a good one that we can use. Yeah, I, like, could, I could do that. If somebody, if you're talking to somebody. The next flight I'm on. <laughs> exactly. And some, you see them and you, hey, roll your windows up. Yeah. It just sounds cooler. <laughs> and finally, our prison slang game uh, with Zach Williams. Uh, are Zoom Zooms new shoes or cookies and candies? It's a tough call. New shoes. No, no, cookies and candies. Once again, the game you want to lose yeah. unless you're headed to prison. Exactly. If you're headed to prison, you want to get 100 on this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, but, man, hey, I really appreciate you taking the time and coming for in sure. with us. And, again, if you want to check out these videos, I mean, they're real. we're goofing around now, but they're real serious. <clears throat> and the lives that you touched uh, while you just took some time out of your day is is huge for these guys. Like, for the rest of the, I mean, that's something that might carry some of these guys through till they're out. Uh, it was, it was a, uh, it was very, it was an honor for me to get to do it. So, well, check it out, ZachWilliamsMusic.com. There's all the videos right there, and uh, I guarantee you, uh, it will move you as well.